Hey guys, it's Lisa here with Epicure. How's everybody doing? Happy Tuesday. I am popping in. I have a lot of new uh, people joining the group. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Welcome, welcome. I am um, gearing up to do a freezer mail workshop with a host. Um, I did want to say if you want to join us, it's going to be on August 20th and we are doing the uh, Epicure Sheet Pan Meals uh, freezer mail workshop. Now, a lot of people have questions. I'm coming at you really quickly to show you one freezer meal, uh, kind of how I prep it and what, what the class is going to look like as we um, do them. I am working on creating uh, some freezer meals for uh, September, and this is a pilot right now. Um, anybody who wants to join my freezer meal uh, pilot uh, program for September, I would be glad for you to join me. I am uh, kind of creating these from my heart because I want really easy, I want really tasty, and um, crockpot meals are my favorite. So my three different recipes that I'm going to make next month are going to be crockpot meals. One of them being our Italian meatballs. I don't know if you guys try and buy meatballs out at the store, but one is they're really super expensive. Two is, I don't even know if there's any meat in there. <laughs> and they're they're really small. Like, you buy a little bag of them, and it's, like, it's really expensive, and they taste like air. I don't know. Um, so, we're going to make our own with our Italian meatball mix right here. Uh, this has in it some really good stuff. Um, it has the breader already in there, so it's got rice uh, breader. It's got raisin juice concentrate, honey, sea salt, onion, sea salt, parsley, garlic, black pepper, basil, oregano, and thyme. So this is all we need. Everything's right in here. Okay? Now, I've got a plan. So when you sign up for my workshop and you order the bundle, you'll get a plan like this. You're going to get a grocery list. It's going to tell you what to buy at the grocery store. When you buy the groceries at the workshop, we're going to have the groceries all there. I'm going to have you number your bag. So you're going to do bag number one, and then we're going to title it, what is it? Italian meatballs. You're going to have your, maybe your baggie holder if you want. I highly recommend baggie holders, um, especially if we're doing like 10 to 12, um, 10 to 12 uh, freezer meals. So you put them right in your baggie. Now, or on your uh, your baggie right in your holder. Now, when we're doing these meatballs, these are going to be so delicious. Now, um, there are three different sizes you can make, right? So you decide. You want the big one. This would be for, like, if you want to use some of the meatballs for a meatball sub, that would be good. Hi, Holly. I see you. So glad you're here watching. Say hi if you're watching live. Hopefully I can see comments. I can't really see comments, but I can see who's watching. This is like a smaller meatball if you wanted to make a meatball soup or spaghetti and meatballs, of course. And then this is kind of like I would say the average size. I hope you can see that. Uh, that's the average size scoop. Uh, or, of course, you can just, you know, use your fingers and do it. Okay, so here's what we need for simple this freezer meal, okay? And I recommend you take all three packets because when you order one, you're going to get all three. So that's my whole process in my freezer meal workshop is that we're going to make three packets of Italian meatballs. And for one month, I want you to eat spaghetti and meatballs or a meatball sub. So you will eat all three of these meals. Not a problem. They're going to be delicious. Okay, so I've got one pound of ground beef. I went ahead and got... Oh, there, I saw your message. Hello, Holly. Um, so... Um, Holly, if you're late, I'm just trying out a new freezer meal that I'm creating. And next month in September, I'm going to be hosting um, my own created freezer meal workshop. So I'm very excited. I hope you will join me in piloting it and testing it out. I'm so excited. So we're going to make Italian meatballs. And this is one pound of the ground beef, which is 93% lean grass fed. I got it at Aldi and it was like for $6.19. It was a really good price for grass fed beef. And then I couldn't find ground pork. Uh, the recipe called for ground pork or Italian sausage. So I got the Italian sausage and I took the links out. We're just going to follow kind of the directions on the back of the packet here. So we need to add in 
two eggs, which I have right here. And we'll get those in the cup here. Now, when you freeze these, you have a couple options. You can um, put them on a, um, you can put them on like a sheet and then um, you freeze them, kind of par freeze them that way and then throw them in your baggie or like me, I'm going to cheat and try and put them in here and then lay them flat. So we're going to see how it works out, you and me together right now, okay? <laughs> it's kind of fun, right? All right, so we got a couple eggs here. Let me whisk these up real quick. I have tried finding good meatballs out there. I wanted the cheap ones, the shortcut. There's no cheap, there's no such thing. And if you buy the big bag at, at um, Costco, I'm just saying when you look at the ingredient list, you guys, I don't even know if there's meat in the meatballs. <laughs> there's a lot of soy something or other. So they can claim, and they put a little bit of meat in there, a little bit of pork. We don't know how much, though. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of other extra ingredients that we don't want in there. A lot of them put gluten in there, too. So if you are trying to stay away from gluten, you want to go with your Epicure Italian meatballs like this. Okay, so we're going to add the egg. I'm not, I'm not joking, you guys. I haven't made this yet. <laughs> but we're doing it together. Here it is. Lots of fun, right? All right, and then I'm going to add, I mean, seriously, it's three ingredients. It's the egg, the two pounds of meat. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil, not much, just a smidge, just to keep it from sticking. Calls for a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. I am that in. And my seasoning packet. That's it. Are you kidding me? Are you excited? Hey, do you guys live in the area? I know. Holly does. It's Kind of chilly today, huh? It's almost fall-like out there. It's kind of crazy. Uh, getting us all ready. Now, I'm not cooking these meatballs yet. Freezer meals, you don't cook the food. You freeze it raw, and then you cook it the day you want it. Ooh, that smells good. All right, we're going to go ahead. And I'm going to get my hands dirty here because I'm actually going to form these meatballs. Another option is you could just make a big old Italian meatloaf. You don't even have to make the meatballs, but... I know that who doesn't love meatballs, right? So we're going to get in our cans in here and mix it up. I highly recommend you do spaghetti and meatballs. You do a uh, meatball sub, like you just take literally um, one of those hoagie rolls. And what I learned a trick a long time ago from watching Rachel Ray is that she took like garlic butter and basted the hoagie roll. And you dig out some of the, of the dough and so it has room for the meatballs in there. But you actually char the um, hoagie roll with the butter on it under the broiler for a few minutes. Then you put your meatballs in there with your sauce, top it with some cheese, put it back under the broiler. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. Those are so good. All right, that's it. Like, how easy was that? This is so easy, you guys, and it so, smells so good. All right, now on your instructions here, I'm going to give you everything you need. It's going to give you the cook day instructions. It's going to give you how to prep the bag. It's going to give you um, how to, um, what, about, what else, to freeze and cook later, and then also when you uh, actually go to, go to cook it. But I recommend you just throw it in the crock pot with some spaghetti sauce and go to work. <laughs> Come home and it'll all be done. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take my... Uh, let's see here. Let me wash my hands real quick. You guys do anything fun today? Holly, how has work for you? All right. Get all my, all my fingers here. All right. Now, I'm going to use the regular meatball size because I want to see how many I get out of here. I think I looked at all these meatballs. They had fresh meatballs weren't even frozen. Now that just makes the meatball just like that. So I'm going to put that there. Um, and I think, I don't even know if there was, I don't think there was any beef in it. I think it was all pork. Um, and you got 13 meatballs. I think it was $4. I don't know how many of these will work out to be yet because I haven't figured out the whole pricing structure. But basically, that's all you do. Now, if you need to round it out like this, 
then, you know, definitely do that. You can go rogue, you can go rustic, and uh, just leave it that way. I cannot tell you how good this smells. I mean, it's not even cooking yet, and it smells so good. Um, and also what you can do, too, is um, you can take like a 28-ounce can of um, crushed tomatoes and then add a tablespoon of that dry packet before you dump it all in there. Add that to your tomato sauce and throw it in the crock pot. You don't even have to buy spaghetti sauce. That's it. And then when, when you go to work, you throw the meatballs in the crock pot. When you get home... I don't know if you know this, but you can actually make meat, uh, make spaghetti in your crock pot. So what I would do is take out the meatballs and then add the spaghetti, cover it, just cover the spaghetti with water and then let it uh, cook in your crock pot and then add the meatballs back in at the end and, and stir it all together. All right, so I'm going to not make you sit here and watch me roll all these, but I'm going to kind of show you what I'm going to do. So basically, I, my envision for this is to go ahead and lay them down flat in my bag. And I'll show a picture of this in the group after I'm all done, okay? I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it looks like you can see it. So I'm going to lay the meatballs down so they don't touch and they can freeze like that. And then I am going to um, cook them in the crock pot when I need a meal for, when my meal calls for spaghetti and meatballs. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. This makes a lot of meat. You guys look at all that. It's going to be a lot of meatballs. So I'm going to share with you in the group after um, I put them all together. But I wanted to give people a little just of how the freezer meals work and how simple they are to just put the ingredients together and get it all together. The whole point of freezer meals is to have the meals in the freezer ready for the nights that you're busy and you you don't have to think about what to cook. I just, I love that about the freezer meals and I love having them and just pulling them out. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you want to join my freezer meal workshop, we have one um, going right now. We're signing up today is the last day to order to get the products in time. We're going to do it on August 20th. We're going to do the class virtually in on Zoom. Uh, all my freezer meal workshops will be done on Zoom. It will be all virtual. We're going to do it together. We're going to create community. We're going to have memories. We're going to just have a blast putting all these meals together. Um, I'm going to do the one in September. So I'm going to host that one myself. And uh, hopefully you'll sign up and uh, join us in making the Italian meatballs, the Portuguese chicken, and the sticky orange chicken. Doesn't that sound like fun? So anyway, it was good to have you guys here. I will get finish rolling these and I will talk to you later. Bye.